Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna call it a lockdown DIY because it is simple, quick and achievable. So you can literally get this done in less than two hours. I'm not joking. We are spending so much more time at home and so much more time in our garden, which we are so fortunate to have because I know there are lots of people right now who don't have a garden. So one of the things that we've been doing is trying to make our garden look a bit more prettier because I've been neglecting it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really give my garden the priority it needs or it should have. So the weather's been so nice, we've been outside. And one of the things I've always wanted is a hanging planter. But why build it when you can hack something to make exactly the same thing? So I worked with Habitat on this campaign. Although they haven't sponsored this video, but I do like to give you talk throughs of what I've actually made. I think they're just much more easier for some people to follow. So this isn't part of a campaign at all, a blog post was, but I thought it would be nice to give you a look at how to make it through a video. I use the Habitat planter boxes to make this hanging planter and I just use rope to get it to hang. Really easy to do again, <laughs> so simple, so achievable. That is my mantra for this whole time during lockdown. I can't be tackling huge DIY projects because I just don't have the energy, that motivation that I had pre-lockdown. So basics are, you need a drill, planter boxes, rope, plants, soil, I think that's literally it. The most scariest part of this thing, well for me anyway, was drilling into metal. I'm not that confident with it. Because the plant boxes were so lightweight and thin, it wasn't that hard to do. My tip to you is do not worry. Sometimes you just have to try things out yourself and then your confidence just grows. I'm gonna show you how I did it, step by step. Well, as best as I can. I kept forgetting to take pictures of each step. However, I've just bought myself one of those tripod things that you can attach your camera to. So I'll be able to show you things that I'm doing without having to constantly pick up my camera. But anyway, let me get to the tutorial. I've been doing enough talking. Hope you like. If you do, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Have you attempted anything in your garden recently? How are you spending this time during lockdown? Are you in your garden more than you have been? Anyway, I'm gonna go into my garden and show you how it looks because I'm really proud of it. These are the plant boxes from Habitat. They're really, really lightweight. Of drainage holes, so they should be quite easy to drill into. I've got four. This is the rope that I'm gonna be using to connect the planters together. It's about 10 millimeters thick. Okay, just making the holes. So one goes here, and then as you can see, one goes through the bottom. I'm gonna be threading the rope through, like this, in a knot, and then hanging it through that way. So the bottom one doesn't need to have any holes, it really has drainage holes, so that'll be fine. just connecting these together. These planters from Habitat are actually the perfect planters for this project because they're really, really lightweight and they're thin too, so they're easy to drill into. So the planter is attached to the wall with these brackets. We use a masonry drill. I didn't do this part, my husband did this, to drill into the brick and then just secured everything with wall plugs. actually soaked them. I just start seem to water it and now look but anyway they have drainage holes at the bottom. I should have really peeled that off but no one's gonna see it. 